guys, Judy here. Okay, so it is still the 19th. I'm walking my dog. You can't see him because it's nighttime. There's a car. I'm making this video because I had an experience. Um, and I, this is a video is an attempt to uh, encourage you ahead of time should you wake up and find yourself here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the 21st through the September 2nd, which from what the video that Redeemed made and I made, well, 21st to 28th, but I extended it to the 2nd of, of some huge dates that God's given us. I just couldn't make it up. It just happened. It was him. <sighs> well, as you know, I've been doing this for four years. And when I say I, it's the Lord's been doing it, not me, but I have been, you know, <laughs> caring messages, believing messages, and standing with him on them, and so have many of you. And if you really do it with your whole heart, you know it takes a toll in many ways, okay? And so I laid on my bed an hour ago, and I put my head flat down. I said, God, please, please, I don't want to believe this if it's not going to happen this time. It's just too hard. You see the toll it takes on my body, my mind, everything. It's so hard. Please come. Don't have me believe things. If it's not going to be the real deal, you know. And he, even as I said it, I mean, I just knew that that's not what it's about. It's about faith. It's about believing what he wants us to believe, whether or not it happens. And don't make a mistake. It will happen. He's assured me that. It's just... That's the part where I talk about it's kind of shady. Is it going to be this one? Is it going to be this date set or is it going to be another one, you know? And I was just, I laid my head down and I just begged him to help me if it's not the right, if it's, it is the right thing what we're saying. But if it's not, you know, if he's choosing another date. So I said, Lord, if it's, if we're going to wake up here after this time period that you've given us, please Ahead of time, I'm just asking. I don't know how long, much longer I can keep doing this. I'm asking for your help. So then he, I went into the shower, and I just turned it on. And I just, I started weeping because it, it's, you guys, you know what I'm saying. I'm not even going to explain it. It's hard to live in this life when there's no future. And I have a boatload of work to do, and I'm not motivated to do any of it. And this was the weekend I was supposed to get it done. And I said, see, Lord... You sabotage me when you start doing this date setting stuff. And then I get all behind in everything. And then I get even more stressed out. You know, instead of making all these videos today, I really needed to be doing that other work. But that's not what he wanted me to do. So I obeyed. And I'm happy to do it because it's more, I love God's work way better. It's wonderful. But it's, it takes its toll. It's hard. I, he has me neglect things that later on I have to pay the piper on. I mean, this has been a real walk of faith for me. He hasn't come and rescued me miraculously from anything, but he has made my load lighter and has done miracles that have shocked me in terms of provision, in terms of all kinds of things. So it, it has been exciting, but it's nevertheless, it's still hard. And a lot of things have just fleshed out and been real hard. I've had a harder time because I've been obedient. It's been you know, it doesn't always work out. Oh, and God magically did this for me. No, it's like, so anyway, that's the kind of stuff I was expressing. And when I was in the shower, I cried because he spoke to me. And I want to share that with you ahead of time here. This is not to tell you to not believe what, you know, Redeem 44's video said today and what I said and what others are getting from God. You should believe it. And I do. But this is to prepare you ahead of time should you wake up here, okay? So I'm speaking in 100% faith, but I'm talking from experience. And I am I just want to encourage you because it really encouraged me. So I was in the shower and the Lord said, like he's told me before, but he just said it differently this time. He said, I know. <sighs> he just, I know it's taken its toll. I know. I know it's taken its toll on you. I know. And on many of my brides, they are carrying this for me. They go through these date sets. And they do this for me because they love me. Because that's what I want them to believe. 
And he said, thank you. Thank you for doing this for me. And I will come. You know I will. I fell on your son, you have no doubt. I am coming. Come on, Marty. This way, sweetheart. And so, Bride, he just says, thank you. Thank you for what you do for him. He says, thank you. Marty, no. Come. Sorry, my dog is about to jump into the street because I don't have his leash. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I yell at him like that when I freak out. Come on, Sam Chi. Sammy Chi. Come on, little girl. She never comes with us, but my cat, my black and white cat who's afraid of her own shadow, came all the way to the park with us. This is insane. Come on, Sammy. Come on, little girl. I'm in shock. Sam Chi. Oh my gosh. Out of the shadows came this black cat, and I'm like, is that mine? <laughs> okay, anyway. So, where was I, dang it? I was really feeling a strong anointing. <laughs> I got interrupted by um, stuff, animals, and night walks. We both wear these glow-in-the-dark dog collars. I wear one and my dog wears one, but I need to put new batteries in because the light's going out. Other things I've neglected to do because I'm sitting here waiting on the Lord. And Anyway, guys, so... He says, thank you for believing what I've asked you to believe. He said the date sets give him attention. They give him the glory he wants from his people, the excitement, the expectation. Because that's when you wanna, he wants to come. Is when people are like we are right now, many of us, that are getting these flirts and believing this Mondays, it could be it, or seven days after, or even up and through September. But I'm speaking specifically to the the 21st to the 28th. Anyway, um, believe it or not, this is a, a faith message. It just sounds like I'm preparing you to still keep your faith should you be here. That's really not what this video is, but what it is is the Lord thanks you. Like he th thanked me in the shower for doing something that's not fun. You know, it's it's, listen, a lot of what he tells me to do is fun, but some of it isn't. And just, you know, loving him, he said, <laughs> this really got me. He said, you know, when you, when you love someone a ton and you say something like, I would do anything for so-and-so, I would do anything for that dog, you know, <laughs> or I would do anything for that person because I love my dog, you know, <sighs> and I would do anything for her. I love her so much. I'd do anything for him. And God said, you do anything for me because you love me so much. And that's why you're continuing to do this, though it's taking its toll on you. I just cried in the shower. I just, the shower water coming down on me washed me with my tears. My tears <laughs> were so plentiful that it was like I didn't know which was the shower water on me or which was my tears. It was pretty cool. It was like a flood. Marty, come. Come on. Marty, come. Um, anyway, so I'm giving this message in advance. I felt like the Lord wanted me to share what just happened to me and in the aching and the groaning and the joy. Believe me, I'm, I'm so excited. I, I really am. I'm, but I, I have that, that thing where God, if we wake up here, it's just going to be so hard. I can't, and I'm anticipating it being hard, you know, <laughs> so I can prepare myself and that's Okay. <laughs> Don't give me a scripture on why I shouldn't do that. I'm, You guys, me and Jesus, we're real with each other, okay? So just, we're real, bottom line. I know people throw scriptures at a bunch of stuff, and that's cool. I used to do that, but I just keep it real. Like, dude, this is going to be hard to wake up here, 21st through the 28th. I need your help ahead of time. <laughs> Hi, Sam Chi. Come on, you pretty little thing. You followed me all the way to the park. I love you. Oh my gosh, my cat is amazing to be doing this. She's, she's, I can't believe she came this far. Maybe it's a rapture sign. Marty, stay over here. Um, for some reason, my animals are acting really bizarre. Like, Marty's just, oh my gosh. He just, 
went in the deep dark woods and got a ball. <laughs> He's just being unpredictable. He's darting out and I'm just trying to have this, make this video and, and take him on a walk and I'm getting distracted. Sorry. <sighs> um, and why are there so many people out? Anyway, my animals are acting rapture centric. Sam, she's just doing something she would never do. She must know Christ is coming because she's like, oh, I'll just walk to the park. I'm not afraid of anything. Um, so he's with us, guys. He thanks us for our perseverance and that we do this because we love him. You, you love someone so much you'll do anything. So, yes, I'll continue to believe his date sets and proclaim them and believe it's every day. And, and I'll continue to do it. And even though it's unpleasant and stressful if I wake up here, and even more so when he gives these high watch flirts. But he's like, you do it because you love me. It's what I've asked of you, and you don't enjoy it. It's not the most pleasant part of this waiting journey. So I just want to extend that same word to you. That word is for you as well. And you know what? If you're like a new watcher, and you don't, have, don't know this exhaustion that I'm talking about and this travail and this then you're all good. I'm happy for you. So I'm talking to a strong but weary bride. Because just because I have these feelings doesn't mean I'm weak. You know, I'm strong. God told me I'm a faith hero, but uh, but in my weaknesses, I'm made strong. So I glory in them. I glory in my nervous breakdowns, you know, <laughs> while I wait for him. <laughs> Um, I want to see him so bad, just like you do, and, and my offer still stands. Please get out of my way, because I will knock you over. Please, just don't get in my way, because I will knock you over <laughs> on my way to the king. If anyone's standing around me, just go away, because I'm going to hurt you to get to him. <sighs> I'm that crazed. I'm that crazed. <sighs> I love you though. I'll just I'll come back and like help you out. I just got to get to him first. <sighs> anyway, you guys, um, he's coming, and he thanks you and he thanks me for our childlike faith and our excitement and our anticipation and our faith. And our joy and the attention we're giving him and the attention he loves. And he loved our little church service we did tonight when I put the two songs up and we fellowshiped and sang to him in unity as a bride. He loves our love for him and for one another. So if you should wake up here, past the date that he's given some of us recently, you will keep your faith, you will keep your joy, you will keep your hope. Why? Is it fun because you want to? No. Because you'll do anything for him because you love him. Okay? That's why you're going to do it. That's why I'm get, I'm continuing to do it. I could have chosen to continue to wait for him and fully engage back in worldly things because I needed to, you know. But I have made choices not to, and they're hard choices. It's not hard when I think of him, but it is hard when I have to wake up here and pay a ton of bills and put my son in this and do that. And that's the hard part, but we're getting through. It's working out one day at a time. And you know what? None of these things will matter if we're gone Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. I love you guys. Just keeping it real, full of faith, full of joy, full of hope, full of honesty, anticipation, anticipation, and I'll see you soon. Bye.